even though I'm not a serious diver myself, I was super impressed when Apple announced the Apple Watch Ultra and the Oceanic Plus app, which can act as a full dive computer. Our friends over at Dive In got an exclusive first look at the app and got to fully review it in the waters of Malta. And they thankfully sent us some of the video clips so we can take a look at it today. So let's take a look. Hey there, welcome to the channel. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing if you're into the Apple Watch because that is all our channel is about and we have a ton of new content every single week. Now, as mentioned, our friends over at Divin sent us these video clips of their tests of the new Oceanic Plus app and this looks absolutely incredible. Now, we're gonna run over some of the app features in this video, but if you wanna check out their full video review or their blog post, I'll put a link in the description below. Now, now, the Apple Watch Ultra allows you to dive down to 100 meters underneath the water, but the sensors and the Oceanic Plus app only actually allow you to read data down to 40 meters. So already we can tell this app is really designed for more experienced recreational divers. So divein.com did 15 different dives to fully test this app and we were instantly impressed with the ease of use once the app is installed. All you have to do is simply drop yourself into the water and the app will start up making it super easy to get started. As you can see, the design and the user interface of the Oceanic Plus app looks really, really good. And for me, that's actually quite important. I know a lot of people will say, well, the UI is not that important for a dive computer, but I would actually say it is. I think the easier that you can make something to use uh, when you're underwater, the better experience you're gonna have and the safer it's gonna be. You can see from some of these clips that when the notifications pop up and the alerts come up on the screen, they are much, much clearer and easier to understand than some of the traditional dive computers. Oceanic Plus offers up some big bright yellow and red alerts and the app will also vibrate on your wrist and apparently you can feel that vibration through a wetsuit. These alerts will help to keep you safe when you're underwater so you can do what you need to do and get back up in time if you are in a bit of trouble. Divein.com commented, this is one area where the Apple Watch Ultra really excels. It's just so much easier to see the Apple Watch Ultra screen underwater, and particularly if you have bad eyesight as well. You can see here on the safety stop alerts that it's just so easy to see when you compare it to the older dive computers. Now, the Apple Watch Ultra and the Oceanic Plus app uses the same underwater algorithms that many Garmin watches use. So whilst you don't really need to know that, it's handy to know that they're using a system that has worked for many, many years for other watchmakers as well. One thing that I picked up from these clips is that you no longer need to rent a dive computer if you're going diving. Of course, if you own an Apple Watch Ultra, you've got one watch that you can wear during the day to work. You can wear it on a night out with a different strap. And then when you're ready to go for a dive, you can use the watch that you already own. And I really like that, just a one size fits all, and it's gonna work in all of those different situations. Another pro of the Oceanic Plus app is that it links in with your Apple health data as well. So if you're used to closing your rings when you're doing workouts or walks, this is going to add into your workout data. So if you're like me and you're obsessed with closing your rings on a daily basis, your dives will now show up in that logbook. Now that sounds pretty good, right? But what are some of the downsides? Well, the price of the subscription has really upset some people as well. It's actually around $80 a year just to use the Oceanic Plus app. Now, if you're thinking of using your Apple Watch Ultra for five to 10 years, when you add this on top of the price of your Apple Watch Ultra, it can really start mounting up. And maybe a dive computer would be the better option depending on what you use it for. Also from their video review, we saw that actually the straps that are included with the Apple Watch Ultra can be a little bit small. So if you have big wrists and you're wearing a thick wetsuit, the, you could see in the video review that they did that they were kind of using the last two connecting holes of the straps and you don't get a bigger Apple Watch Ultra strap in the box when you buy your Apple Watch Ultra. So it's worth looking at that and maybe you might need to get some more straps if you're using your Apple Watch Ultra on a regular basis. Then we get to the main problem. The Apple Watch Ultra is kind of advertised as being able to go down to 100 meters, which is true, of course, but if you wanna use it for actual diving with the Oceanic Plus app, you're only gonna be able to get data down to 40 meters. Now, for a lot of people, that's gonna be absolutely fine, but if you are a professional diver, you may wanna look at other options. You know, as I said, I'm not a professional diver, so this would be absolutely perfect for me, but I do know some friends who 
do quite deep sea diving dives and this could be a bit of an issue for them. Next up, battery life was seen as okay, but the presenter commented that after doing two dives, uh, when he got to about dinner time, he was down to about 52%. So that means if you wanted to do a dive the next day without charging, you may not have enough battery life. Some Garmin's and other dive computers can last four to five days. So again, something that's worth looking at. Now, one thing I personally like, which I think is a huge pro, is that the Apple Watch Ultra has cellular built into the watch itself. So this means you can take one watch, you can wear it to work, you can wear it out on a dive, and you can leave your phone in your bag because you can make phone calls on the Apple Watch Ultra, which I think is not only good from a kind of a de device perspective when you wanna keep your phone safe and you wanna keep it inside the boat, but I do a bit of paddleboarding as well. And when I've been out on the paddleboard, I don't wanna take my phone with me. So having a device on my wrist that I know is gonna measure my dives, measure my swims, but also if I get stuck, uh, I'm gonna be able to call the emergency services. Now, obviously you're not gonna be able to call underwater, but if you are on a boat, if you're stuck somewhere, this could be a seriously good thing. And as I say, this is the one watch, so you're using it during the day, at night, and you can take it into your dives. And I think the cellular is sometimes a bit often overlooked. Now I'm really looking forward to trying out the Oceanic Plus app myself, but I wanna say a big thank you to divein.com who sent us this incredible footage. And if you wanna see their full in-depth review and read their blog post, and I really recommend that you do, it's a great watch, uh, check out the link in the description to go there. If you need a new strap for your Apple Watch or Apple Watch Ultra, check out buckleandband.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.